Yeah, even if we were being evil, it's not like anybody could stop us. Well, is there any, any topic you'd like to tackle today? Um, good question. Thank you. I did. <laughs> Great question. That's why they pay me the big bucks. And I, my jaw is slack because this is not what we talked about yesterday as far as <laughs> something. Oh, I see. Open. Like, do I want to open this can of worms? Like this, this treads more into like a, a uh, like a, a pet peeve communication thing, like almost like the sports analogy conversation. Well, I've got one of those, but go ahead. <laughs> like, do we want to open up this can of worms? So, I'll, and it, it's something we're both guilty of too. Okay. I actually saw something on LinkedIn about it. All right, well, I don't do it, but go ahead. Early, yes, you do. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so, and I, so it, so it comes down to the, it depends. And why, even though I say it sometimes, it bothers me. Yeah. As a, as like an escape hatch for, and I'll say specific, specifically around designers, researchers, like when they can't make a decision and they say it depends. And I guess it's more about not just saying it depends. I believe we've talked about this before, but it's what they say after that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, like the, the thing that drives me nuts is the it depends mic drop walk out of a meeting. <laughs> okay. Versus the it depends, hey, let's go find out and I'll get you an answer. Right. Which I don't hear nearly enough. Right. right. Or at all. Yeah. And so I saw someone mention it on a, a LinkedIn post that it's something they do and they're proud of. <laughs> of the mic drop. Um, no, they didn't talk about the mic drop, but just the it depends without any other context around it. Oh, okay. They shouldn't be proud of that, but go ahead. Right, that, that's kind of my, my point. And I know you and I have done it, even I think as recently as yesterday, about something where we, I can't remember what we're talking about, but oh, well, it depends. Oh, it was about the titles and something. Yeah, okay. Other right. conversation. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that was, that was the topic. It just because it's, I just read this and it's always on my mind. I think I wrote a blog post about this years ago. Like, don't just say it depends. It's let's find out or let's let's get an answer. Right. I can't answer it right now, which goes along with my my other point of contention is the being afraid to say I don't know. Where people are asked a question, let's say a researcher or a designer, and instead of saying, "Hey, well, could you give me a moment or give me a week or whatever, I'll we'll find out the answer," but they just make something up because right. they, they're uncomfortable with not having an answer. Right. Yeah. And this happens, I've seen it happen either in a meeting room, like with executives or whoever happens to be in the room, all the way to, we were talking earlier about uh, presenting at conferences or not even conferences, but local meetups and there's Q and A <laughs> and yeah. And the person on stage feels pressure to come up with an answer mm -hmm. to a question from the audience. Yeah. When I've been in that situation and I've yeah, said, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it sometimes is a little uncomfortable, but I don't think there's a harm in saying, you know, that's a good question. I don't have an answer. Let's meet afterwards and talk more about it. And let's, yeah. you know, put our heads together. Or when you're in a meeting room, say, that's a really good question. But, and have it really be a really good question. It shouldn't be something you right. should know the answer to. Right. <laughs> I guess well, that's a different... What's your name? <laughs> right, right. That's a really good question. <laughs> Get back to you in a week. Right, right, right. We can do some research. <laughs> talk to my grandparents. But yeah, the, this, uh, this apprehension is this uncomfortable feeling is it mm. drives me crazy sometimes because people just throw out some crazy garbage that you know, they know is BS and they're going to be held accountable and you just see the noose <laughs> going right around their neck. Like you really want to sign your name to this. Let's, uh, why don't you take a breath and, uh, think it through. Well, I know, I know that you, you don't like it when I get meta, but I'm going to get meta for just a second. All right. Just to set some context. I think the phrase, it depends. Mm -hmm. When you say it, it depends. Not when you say it depends, but it depends on when you say it depends what your subtext is. Right. right. And to your point, if someone says it depends and mic drops or becomes intransigent about giving any further information, that is a serious problem. I say it depends. I feel like it's been a very long time where it's been a mic drop. I think yesterday when we were talking about titles and we came up with It Depends, I think neither of us really wanted to get into that. So right. it was more of a, it depends. Yes, it does depend. All right, let's drop it and move on, you know? 
Agreed. Yeah, I was in. Yeah. Which, no, I think that's a that's a good example of there are times where it's like it depends. That's not as important right now. And by saying it depends, you're sort of it's shorthand for let's put a pin in that or something like that. Right. I think that's okay if you have a good communication relationship with the people who it's coming up with. I think if you say it depends and don't follow it up with let's go find out or I need more information before I can answer, uh, you're doing a disservice to yourself, to the people you're working with, to the people who come after you. Someone else is going to come along later and you're setting expectations for them and they're not good expectations. I think Jared wrote something a little while ago. I saw it on LinkedIn. It was one of those things where I read the title and was like, yep, I got it. Move on. (laughs) It was basically don't say it depends. I think it was more like don't even use that word. But really what the gist he was getting at was you've got to be willing to go find out, right? Or make space to go find out. And that's perfectly valid. I don't think it's, for me, something that I have to remove. It depends from my lexicon. But I think it's, I have to say it and then say, and here are the things that it depends upon. Right. And that's the same thing. It's, it's giving that next step. It's right. not the mic drop. And then, and then to, your, to your point about being willing to say, I don't know, I ran headfirst into that in 2009. The first time I gave my, my Simpsons talk, mm-hmm. there was a question. I don't even remember what it was but I was trying to answer the question really hard and I didn't know the answer. And it wasn't even an, it depends kind of thing. It was like, and halfway through, I was like, holy crap, I'm doing it. What do I do? Just stop talking. Just stop talking. Please stop talking. And I didn't stop talking. It was terrible. Uh, And it really colored the whole talk for me to the point where I didn't feel comfortable giving talks for another seven years. Like that talk went so poorly in my mind. That is where I learned, like deep down to my core, it is so much better to just say, I don't know, but I'll go find out. Yeah. It's an honest I answer. Don't know, I don't know. And let's go find out. Or I don't know. Let's talk about it after the talk or whatever. I mean, cause what I've learned to do or try to do, and I think I've been pretty successful is like, if I'm, I'm thinking about a meeting context with a client or, or you know, mm-hmm. a coworker type of thing, write it down. So that's a great question. Let me write that down. Mm-hmm. I'll have to get back to you. That way they, they see I'm noting it like it's not just a brush off. Right. And it's, you know, maintaining accountability, but not having to put myself on the spot and make up something that I might not stick with, you know, going forward. Right. Anywho. Yeah, I think it's, it's definitely worth everybody, regardless of what their, their job is, is having that willingness to be open. And I feel like someone is more an expert when they say they don't know and have the ability to get the answer rather than if they have the answer in the moment. It's certainly, we should know our stuff, but I think because of that contextuality of a lot of the stuff that we do, because it does depend, uh, we can't have the answers to every single thread that might come out of an action or a choice or whatever. No, I will say. Ultimately, that's what the research is for. That's why we do the research. And I'm thinking about some times when I like I spoke at a conference or something, and there was a question from the audience, and I did know the answer. That feels really good. Yeah. <laughs> so, do do you stop and you're like, yes, I know this one. Right. Exactly. Thank God. <laughs> that, there, there is something nice about that. Feeling. I, I will, I will not I, deny that. The next time I do a talk, if that comes up, I'll be like, yes, I know the answer to this one. Right into the <laughs> mic. <laughs> right. Right. Thank God. And you're not a plant. (laughs) (laughs) It's definitely worth more people considering that, especially people in our line of work, I think. Yeah. I I think that's a really good topic to talk about. So thanks for sharing that. We should talk about that sometime. About what? The thing we just talked about? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Let's add that to the list. That part's going in. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I love, I, I, I think, Pet peeves are certainly welcome on this show. I, I, to our point about making this a positive thing, I, I just don't want to make it all. We all we both have a lot of opinions about stuff like that. <laughs> so it's an easy well to, to pull from. That's why I he- was hesitant, but it was just top of mind. So. Well, I, the, the positive thing is it's better to say, I don't know. Right. In the short term and the long term, it is better to say, I don't know. Let's go find out. There's your positivity. All right. Fair enough. Starburst rainbow.
Starwipe. Starwipe. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> <laughs>